What's going on everybody? Grab you a cup and maybe even a snack and uh, let's have a talk. Now, we're going to start this video out right away so we can start weeding people out. We're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to drink coffee. Number two, we're going to have a cinnamon roll. <clears throat> I'm going to do this because <clears throat> number one, I like coffee. Number two, it's the weekend and I let myself cheat a little bit on the weekends and have a few uh, simple indulgences. I like a cinnamon roll. <clears throat> and number three, I've been told in the past that <clears throat> I shouldn't eat and drink. I'm doing a video because it's unprofessional. Well, let's get something straight right up front. If you're here looking for a professional, you in the wrong place. Just go ahead. Door's right over there. There's a tip box. Leave a tip on the way out. Carry on. Have a nice day. Because we ain't doing professional here. So, just because I know it irritates people. And I love it when people try to tell me what to do with my own channel. It's always people that want to tell you what to do with your channel. Who have absolutely nothing up on theirs. They won't, they won't contribute, won't do it, nothing. So, <clears throat> we're going to keep our own. I'll get to the talking in a second. Y'all don't worry. Mm. As you know, we can talk about stuff. And we got stuff to talk about. I'm going to save the rest of that one. <clears throat> so, now that you've had time to go get you a cup, You've had time to roast the beans, had time to grind them, had time to brew it, get it in your cup, <clears throat> get it all doctored if that's your thing. <clears throat> we can get on with the video. Now, speaking of doctoring, anecdotal point. I used to be one that doctored my coffee a lot. <clears throat> that changed some years ago <clears throat> as I got older and more capable of appreciating the blessing and gift that coffee truly is. And now, the only thing I do with my coffee is I usually put just a little smidge, just a little dab, not a lot, I think it was a lot, of one of God's other um, awesome blessings that is honey. Um, just a little teeny smidge of honey in there. Uh, man, just good old black coffee. I don't know if you can see that in there. Good old black coffee, just a little smidge of honey. Two of God's great blessings and gifts for us. So, we're going to sip on that. Um, are you guys paying attention? Are you ready? I mean, are you truly ready? Like, we can get on here and pontificate and bloviate and do all the uh, socialist, I mean, social media posts that we want to and videographies and whatnot. But are you really and truly ready? I'm not. Been doing this for a long time. I'll never be ready. Because what I'm seeing that's coming, <clears throat> there ain't nobody going to be ready for. A lot of people that want it are going to live out the old adage of be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Yeah, if you want what's coming, you might just get it. And I got a strong feeling and feel pretty safe in saying you're going to regret that want. 
Folks, it's getting bad. It's getting really bad out there. Little things I'm seeing and watching. We are more divided right now than we have ever been as a country in our entire history. Like, there were divisions during the Revolutionary War, right? They, that's where the whole 3% thing come from. It was estimated only about 3% of the population actually participated in fighting against the, the, the British. There was no shortage of uh, Tories and Loyalists. Um, there was division, right? There was division during the Civil War. That's where the whole brother against brother thing come from. Civil War literally saw brothers, family members, neighbors, close, long-time friends on opposite sides shooting at each other. It literally saw it. We were divided, big time. With what I'm seeing, we are now divided exponentially more than we ever were back then. This will not and cannot end well. I think we've crossed that demarcation line. We've crossed that point of no return. There's no coming back from this. I honestly and truly, and I'm not trying to be, you know, uh, just throw out hyperbole to you. I honestly and truly think there's no coming back from this. It is only a matter of time because it can only end one way. <clears throat> and it will take that end to finally settle it. And quite honestly, it could get settled any number of ways, many of which aren't preferable. So my point in burning up caffeine on that is Do everything you can do right now to get ready. You should be actively planning, training, coordinating. I don't care if it's you and your wife, you and your neighbor, or you and 50 other people. At whatever level, maybe it's just you, right? That's unfortunately a reality for a lot of people. Maybe it's just you. Whatever that level is, you need to be actively planning, training, preparing, getting ready. And it consists of the whole gamut. I sound like a broken record, and I'll continue to sound like a broken record on this. People like, are, oh, it's not about stuff. Yeah, it is. You got to have stuff. Like, you got to have food. You have to have ways of preserving food. You have to have ways of cooking food. You have to have ways of procuring food. You have to have ways of defending and protecting that food. That all takes stuff. You have to know how to use all that stuff. You have to have medical supplies. That's stuff. You have to know how to use it. That's training. I mean, yes, it is about stuff. You have to have the things, right? So, guys that like to feel all self-righteous, oh, it's not about the things. Yeah, it is. Because you got to have them, and you got to have a way of protecting them. you got to have a way of using them, etc., etc., does me no good to have a big old giant freshwater pond back there if I've got no way of getting that water from there up to my house and storing it and making it usable. That takes stuff. I can't cup it in my hands and walk it up to the house and go, hey, look, water, it's ready to go. Everybody drink. Doesn't work that way. Sad, but it don't. I can't stand at the outer gate and say, you there, stop. You can't have my stuff because it's ours. You can't have our food. Doesn't work that way. Because when those that want it, want it, they're going to come get it. You better have something of which you're capable of enforcing your words of, this is mine, go away, you're not going to take it. Take stuff. With all the stuff, you got to have the training. you got to have the practice. you got to know how to use it. And it OJT on the job training for you younger kids is not the ideal way of going about this. There's going to be a lot of OJT if things ever get to the point I'm concerned they're going to get to. There will be a lot of OJT for a lot of people. But the more you can get up front right now beforehand, the better off you're going to be. 
the better your odds are going to be. Because the odds ain't going to be in your favor most of the time. So you better do what you can to stack the deck now. Cheat. Cheat in every way you possibly can right now by getting those skills and training and practicing, etc., etc. Um, it's going to be family against family. Right within immediate family. That's This division is that deep. I'm seeing it personally. Long time friends are being divided. Um, <clears throat> it's at a critical level and it's only getting worse. <sighs> I'll keep harping on this because I never know when this may be your first time ever watching one of my videos. So you long time folks and regular repeat folks, sorry not sorry, y'all just gonna have to suffer through it or fast forward or whatever. Or just get more coffee and endure. Because there's uh, the longer the video and the more I talk, the more coffee you get to have, right? What good would it be if it was a freaking two minute video and you got to take two sips of coffee? I like to be able to empty the cup and then refill it one time. Um, moving on, since we're just having a little coffee chat here. Um, here here's a little quick episode we'll do. Things that bother me. Does it bother anybody else when you're watching other videos and you hear people talk about taping something? Oh, you know, we were going to tape this, we were going to tape that. Why are people still using tape? Like, it's 2021. We've got these really cool digital cameras now that you can just record stuff with. You don't have to tape anything. You, you can actually move away from the tape, guys. I mean, my camera doesn't use any tape at all. I quit using tape ages ago. So I don't tape videos. I just record them with my digital camera. Like, is that a thing that people are still using tape? And if not, why do they keep saying that they're taping stuff when they're not taping things? Why do people feel like their little bit of experience in life trumps the experience of people far older than them. Like, I'm not going to tell you exactly how old I am, but I'll give you a good close, or a good close uh, thing. I'm, I'm rapidly, rapidly, Knocking on 50's door, right? Yeah, I know, and I'm still looking pretty good to be that old. But yeah, I'm, I'm rapidly encroaching on 50. And I see people pontificating and waxing so eloquent on things that are contrary to my own personal experiences and the experiences of people far wiser and older than me. And they're quite arrogant about it. Like, and this is, I finally reached that point where I've become my parents and I'm pushing becoming my grandparents. I'm, I'm looking at these younger 20-somethings going, you ignorant, snot-nosed little brats. You know not of what you speak. Like everything that I used to sit back and listen to my parents, my father, my grandfathers uh, say about people, and I was like, wow, a couple of old fuddy-duddies just you know, going off on, on the younger folks. No, I'm there. Like, I'm really there. And it's even people that are doing gun and survival related videos and training videos. And it's like, okay, I don't care what your age is, your experiences are your experiences. However, the younger you are, the narrow the scope of your experiences are, right? You have a much narrower time frame in which you've applied and related that experience in a much 
bigger picture. So the, the older you get, the more broadened your experiences get quantified. I, maybe I'm using too many big college words, even though I only had a short stint in college and then I quit. Because I realized that college just wasn't for me. Um, but I don't discount younger folks' experiences. What I have a problem with is when they automatically, in a very arrogant way, discount the knowledge and experience of those much older than them. Right? Like, if I was already out of basic training, if I had already gotten my DD-214 when you were just crawling out of the birth canal, you'll forgive me if I start looking a little cock -eyed at you when you start dismissing things that I and others my age are saying when a lot of what we're saying is coming from people way further up the chain than even us. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Maybe it does. Maybe some of you will get it. Maybe some of you won't. Maybe some of you are too smart to actually get it. There's a, there's a problem too. Um, speaking of YouTube, be careful guys. Be very, very careful. YouTube has become a repository and I've said this in past videos. It's become a place where people will maybe not in outright say they are professing themselves to be experts, but how they are saying things and what they are saying, they are uh, <clears throat> expressing themselves to be experts. Um, that is the uh, persona and uh, appearance that they are giving, usually not so subtly. But a lot of these people, again, I've said this in the past, they are putting out videos and content not based on necessarily truth and reality, but they're doing it based on what they think their viewers want to hear in order to get those clicks. They are money driven. They want you to click on their video and listen to what they got to say and then come back and click on the next video to listen to what they got to say. Now, that's not to say that they're intentionally trying to lead you astray. I think they're oftentimes inadvertently doing that because they're so focused on the dollar. It's not so much about getting you more appropriate information. It's what's going to get me the most people to come listen to what I'm saying and get those clicks for the money. Now, I'm full-blown capitalist. If you can make money, make freaking money. Okay? More power to you. But be open and honest about that and say, look, I'm trying to make money here. So, help me make money by clicking on my videos. That's fine. Because what ends up happening is people put out information just to, for the sole purpose of drawing people in, and in their own minds, I think a lot of them think they're right because they've convinced themselves that they're right. And then people will come and watch their stuff and think, oh, well, this person's got you know this uh, experience or whatever, so they must be right. And people will start believing what they're being told, and others, it's simple confirmation bias they're flocking to somebody that's confirming their already established biases and what ends up happening is they grow this person's you know channel and following and then other people come and think oh well this person's got this big huge following they must be right so people that then don't know start listening and believing and buying into what somebody's saying because they've got such a following and they must be right there's a lot of people out there with a whole lot of followers a whole lot, like, a whole lot of, like, cult-like followers that 
aren't putting out information that's in your best interest. And again, I'm not saying they're intentionally doing it. I'm not saying they're intentionally doing it. I think a lot of it, probably most of it, is unintentional. Now, there are some that I think know better. They do know better. But their quest for the almighty dollar trumps, eh, well, you know what? I know this isn't right, and it's not what I would actually do, but it's what people want to hear, and it's going to make me money, so that's what I'm going to tell them. I can't do that. My, as, as much as I'm a capitalist and I love making money and wish I had more of it, I have a certain set of morals and standards that, and everybody's are different, you do you, but mine are such that I can't do that. I can't knowingly give you bad information <clears throat> just to make a buck, which, number one, is why I am always try to be very careful about what I'm saying and telling you, and number two, it's why this channel is not monetized and I'm not trying to make money off of it because I don't want to ever get sucked into that trap. I want you to know when you come here, I'm telling you what is on my heart and mind and my experiences, what I've learned and gathered from others, regardless of whether it makes me a dime or not, because it doesn't. So be careful. Be careful how easily you're influenced by YouTube and other social media. Even, and I'm going to get crucified for this, but even among a lot of experts with really flashy backgrounds. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Be careful. Be careful what you buy into as to whether or not it's really applicable for you what somebody's showing. Reality is a lot different than what people make it out to be sometimes. We could go on forever about that, but I don't suppose we will. Um, pardon more. Haven't offended anybody in a few minutes, so we need to eat and drink a little bit so we can offend some more people who don't like my unprofessionalism on this here highly professional video. So, mm, too good to stop. Hang on a second. Mm, mm, mm. Wunderbar. <clears throat> and there goes my guilty indulgence for the week. Now I have to be good the rest of the week. <clears throat> um. fixing to tell you guys something and I got my brain just got so overloaded by the wonderfulness of that cinnamon roll and the deliciousness of the coffee that I just completely forgot what I was going to say to you oh I remember ding 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 caffeine kicked in <clears throat> again let me preface what I'm about to say <clears throat> with this is in no way meant to disparage anybody who does this. You do you. I'm speaking just from me. Have you guys ever noticed that in my videos I never ask you to like it or share it or subscribe or whatever? I don't think I've ever told you why, so allow me to do so. Like my videos. I don't care if you like my videos. You liking my videos does nothing for me at all. If you like it, you like it. If you like it, you're going to like it. If you don't like it, you're not going to like it. If you don't like it, I'm not going to change what I'm doing because I'm not here to please you. So there's no point in me asking you to like the video because if you're going to like it, you're going to like it regardless of what I say. Sharing the video. Same, same. 
I don't care if you share the video. It's a very rare thing that I'll ask you to share a video. And it's only if I think there's something really, really important that I want you to get out. But even then, I really hesitate to do it for the same reasons of the likes. If the video is something you feel strongly enough about, you're going to share it regardless of whether I ask you to share it. And I feel safe in saying there's probably not a single person that's going to watch this video that if I ask you to share it, is going to go, oh, well, I wasn't going to share it, but he asked me to share it, so I'll go share it. I don't think there's a single person that's going to do that. So, I'm not going to bother asking you to share it. Subscribing. I don't ask you to subscribe to my channel because, again, I don't care if you subscribe to my channel. It doesn't do anything for me. It, it neither hurts me nor helps me for you to subscribe or not subscribe, for you to subscribe, unsubscribe, whatever. Watch it if you want. Don't watch it if you want. Subscribe if you want. Don't subscribe if you don't. I don't care. I know some really good channels that do that. And they are great channels. And I follow them. But I don't follow them because they ask me to. I follow them because I want to. Because I like what they're doing. And again, I don't have a problem with anybody doing that. You do whatever you want to do on your channel. Just on my mind. I will say, though, there are some channels that will beg you to do that. If somebody's desperately begging you to do that, and it's obvious when it's somebody that's just saying, hey, you know, like, share, and subscribe, versus somebody that's really begging you to please, please subscribe and please share this. Like, those are two different things. And that makes, I don't know about you, it makes me get a little, uh, the old uh, tingle run up the back of the spine, and it ain't just from lack of caffeine. The spider sense starts going, mm, why? Why are you so desperately begging me for that? What is it that you're getting? Anywho, y'all are probably out of coffee. I know my cup's getting real shallow, and it's time to go get topped off again. So, just a little pointless coffee chat for today. Just thought we would uh, ramble on about a couple of things. Um, I've got some stuff planned for you. We're still working on the my ultimate armed prepared citizen rifle. Um, got some stuff planned that. I'm waiting on a few things to get here that I think, I hope you're going to like. I think you're going to like it. I know I'm going to like it. And me liking it is probably all that really matters in the grand scheme of things. Um, but just some little things to try to offer some tips and help and insight and stuff to you. Um, I'm kind of looking at the, at the gear pile over here. Um, Y'all can't see it on camera, but I got stuff here and yawn um, and sometimes when I'm looking at it it'll re-jog re re refresher jog the memory um, again I'm getting close to 50 um, of what I wanted to uh, to do videos on and show y'all and talk to you about in fact I just thought of one while I said that because I just seen something in the corner that bing light bulb went off I really got to start taking notes and writing stuff down and that's a shame because I had really hoped to avoid that point in my life, but alas, just like with my suddenly degrading vision, it ain't 18 no more, neither is the uh, sharpness of the old uh, thinker. Got to start making notes and writing stuff down on what I want to do. All right. You guys take care. Stay safe. Um, go get you another cup of coffee or whatever you may require. And uh, have a good day. As always, guys, keep getting ready. Keep getting ready. In whatever way you can. Like, one little step today. If you bought one extra box of Band-Aids today, you are better prepared than you were yesterday. Right? It's, it's that easy. Just keep doing something. Learn something new every day. Practice something new every day. 
get something extra, add to your stuff, whatever, every day, um, and just keep getting ready. Keep getting ready. Because the, the more prepared you are now, the better equipped you'll be to handle what's coming, what I fear is coming. I don't fear it. I say I, I, what I fear is coming in the essence of I wish it didn't have to come, but we're here. There's nothing I can do to stop it. So since I can't stop it and control it, I'm just going to be ready for it. See you all later.